it's discrimination and, and, and then, it's to, not discrimination to overlook gay people because, because for gay roles and not, then give them to straight people. But not over, it's not discrimination to overlook them. You give it the role to the person who is the best best actor and the person who's going to, but that's who's not going how to bring the world that character works. to you life. You know that's not true. But it that's is true. not how they cast it. Welcome to the Showbiz Showdown with me, JJ and this Yobi. This is the only show on Talk TV where we take one burning controversial issue from the world of entertainment and debate the hell out of it. So let's get straight into this week's question. Should gay roles be played only by gay actors? Initially, my view on this is, of course not. That's bigoted, it's dangerous, and it's deeply unfair. But let's go to the opposite side of the table, back in the lion's den. Podcaster, comedian, James Barr. Welcome, James. I don't see it as bigoted. I think that's an interesting word that you've just thrown in there. How about, hello, JJ. How about Hi, JJ. Bro? How are you? <laughs> what a bigoted opening. <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to say. No, I think it's bigoted. Why do you think it's bigoted? I think it's bigoted because what essentially what you're doing is you are going to force some people who, again, don't want to be out of the closet to come out. No, you're not. Yeah, you are. Because if you're saying we're going we're gonna to we're gonna make sure that all these roles that could be played by anyone by any male, and now you're only, only, only well, just don't play go by gay. You want to come out? Just play straight roles. Well, I think that's, no, I think, I think that's biggest. Here. But what, what do you think on the question? I honestly think it's absolutely the right thing, and I'm not alone because a lot of Hollywood actors agree that gay roles should now only be played by gay people. In fact, LGBTQ plus roles. Eddie Redmayne says that playing a trans girl in The Danish Girl was a mistake. He was Oscar nominated for that role, and he now thinks that was a mistake. And I think you'll find that Jake Gyllenhaal also feels as though he might have paved the way with Brokeback Mountain for straight actors to play gay roles and that that's probably had a big influence on Hollywood and it has, but that now the landscape has changed and actually it's probably better that a gay person plays that role. I think those people who are coming out of Hollywood and saying we shouldn't be playing gay roles for gay people only, I think that they're, they're cowards. I think they're scared of, get, of the backlash. They're scared of getting cancelled. That's what it comes wow. down well, to. Well, then they probably know what it feels like to be a gay person out in the media because it is scary. Well, I'm sure that's scary, but the reason, but if you're gay, you're gay because that's that's what you are. That's how you were born. If you are in Hollywood and you're now coming out and saying, I think that gay roles should be for gay people only, they're saying that because they are scared, not because that's actually how they feel. They're, they're saying not it, saying they're, that because they're, 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 they're scared. Saying they're it saying PR. it because they realise that representation they is important. And you're, you're naming Hollywood actors. Well, what about Elton John? He had his his bar pick played. Someone played him, Taron Egerton. He's not a gay man. Elton John's a gay man. He was completely in control of the film. He picked. That man's play the play the role. So it's not a case of it's a blanket. Everyone in the gay community, everyone in Hollywood thinks it because they don't. That's not the Tom way. Tom Edgerton is amazing, by the way. Yeah, a yeah, good, he's a very, very good in that film as well, and it's brilliant if Elton John has signed that off. It's his story, so I think he has the right to choose who plays that. But if we're looking at things, if we're looking at generalisation, I think it's important that someone who is gay plays a gay role because Why? so often they are overlooked for straight roles because they're told they're too camp. You're too camp to play a straight role. You won't be able to play a straight actor. And then they don't get gay roles as well. That's super unfair. Yeah, I can see what you mean about it being unfair, but if you look at Neil Patrick Harris, who was openly gay, he played the biggest Lothario on TV, the biggest heterosexual Lothario on TV for years as Barney in How I Met Your Mother. Guess who nailed the chick from Metro News 1 last night? Most people who watch that show, the millions of viewers, didn't even know that he was gay in real life. Well, in, that, maybe until... that's because he passed. There's, maybe because he passed, certainly... or, maybe, or maybe because he's such a strong actor. Well, possibly, but also there is a privilege of people that have a sort of straight acting demeanour. It's a terrible phrase, but people that have the ability to act straight in real life and people not realise they're gay. Like me, for example, I am very straight acting and people don't <laughs> often know that I'm gay, so I could probably get away with playing a straight role. But that's my privilege and that misses the point entirely. But isn't that the part point, of the problem? No, the point there's, there's... is that gay people should be, should be allowed to play straight roles and currently they're not. And if they were openly, constantly, being cast in straight roles, it would be a level playing field. But we don't live in a society that is a level playing field, so we have to level it out in a forced See, way. I and think... the way to do that is to allow only LGBTQ plus people to play LGBTQ plus roles. But you understand that acting is acting, it's make-believe. It's not make-believe, it's a lot more nuanced than that. That's oh, a really dumb, no, I don't think it's dumb, dumb simplisation. So, 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 so let's say let's say the role is for uh, this film, we've got a character, not the main character, but it's a, a gay dad who's got three kids adopted. I would then, if you're going to say it has to be a gay man, I'd say then, okay, it's got to be a gay man who has adopted three kids because there's gay actors who adopted kids. That role's made for them then. So they should, only they can play that role. Yeah, if you want to be 
Super ridiculous. specific. If you want to be super but, but, and, specific, and that, and that is ridiculous. But uh, you might find an actor that has that situation and be like, "Oh my goodness, this is the one." But then you're giving it to someone based on their real life, which is then not acting. No, acting is about authenticity and telling stories. And it's not about find, pretending to be you, someone else. Exactly it's about it's telling about. stories. Yeah. And if you are a gay person and you understand the nuances of the, of the shame of just walking out of your front door every day, yeah. And and the embarrassment and, and, and of holding what? hands with someone, and you know exactly, like viscerally, how that feels. Guess what? Then you are better for the role and than a straight There's person. And there's, and, there's, and there's plenty of gay people, gay men in the world, who have not had that experience. There's plenty of gay men in the world who... Yeah, who, there there, there, yeah exactly. And there may be gay actors who have not but had that experience. But there's plenty more that have, JJ. Way more that have. And there may be that gay actor who's not had that experience, but is going to, is going to then say, well, that's a role for a gay man, so I'm going to play it. That gay person will not know any better than a straight person because they've had the same experience as a straight person. So they, they're casting according to actually who's going to sell the most tickets, which is exactly how it should be done because it's a business. It's not a human right to be an actor. It's not a human right to be in a film. You do the research, you practice, you find the role, you find the voice, you find your character. That is it. But what, if if you're, if you're you're playing, but what if you'd also done that and then you were told you couldn't play yourself, even though you had exactly the same extensive research done and you were told, no, you can't play it actually because Brad Pitt's better than you even though he's had none of the experience you've had in real life. Yeah. But you think I'd, that was okay? I'd accept it because it's, because it's called acting. Jodie, who played um, one of King, a black actress who played one of Henry VIII's wives lately, that wasn't ridiculous. A black, black woman playing, playing a white queen, that wasn't ridiculous. No, I love that. Yeah, exactly. But so, that's so because it, it, depends, a it depends on the interpretation. So yes, you playing O.J. Simpson may be ridiculous. What we're doing it, here... But it depends on the interpretation. What you're doing here is you're fighting back against... Um, positive discrimination. That's really what you're arguing. No, is. Yes, no, you are. You're no, saying, no because the, the reason they would cast a black woman to play a white ki queen and be okay with it is because there aren't enough black women being represented. So they're doing that because they think, well, actually, you're an amazing actor and why should it matter? But when you reverse that the other way, it's not okay. And that's because white straight men are in everything. And that's, we're fed up of that. Gay men are doing okay. When it comes to movies, they're doing okay. Yeah, because we've been I, having this conversation I don't for think a few we, years. I don't think we need to be in a situation now where we're saying, right, if you're straight, you can't, you can't even audition for this role. It's got to go to a gay person. That doesn't make sense. And also, let me add, it's not my decision. It's the, it's the decision of the audiences. I'm absolutely that, sure that, no one is going to literally it blanket, to. make a ruling saying, if you're straight, you can't play a gay role. But the conversation is important. And by having the conversation, we're encouraging studios to think a bit more clearly about their decision. Studios are completely driven by money. They're not here to, to appease you and me on, on our morals. They're here to make cash. It's a movie industry. They're here to make money. And gay films get made. They also have a responsibility. No, to... they have no responsibility. Yes, they, they do. There's no responsibility. It's, it's I to think keep every, money. I think culture in general, entertainment, all has a responsibility to make sure that it is speaking correctly to the people that it's broadcasting if, to. If, if Universal or Paramount or whoever start making films big blockbuster films with unknown smaller named gay actors in the lead roles. Why are we saying roles. they're smaller actors? Because, well, because na na name me a, a gay actor who's as big as The Rock, or as big as Ryan Reynolds, or as big as Kevin Hart. The top 20 paid um, actors in Hollywood in movies are all straight men. They're not all white men, but they're all men. The top right. 20 actors. So that's what I'm saying. But that's name terrible. One. We should change that. But well, that happens over time. Yeah, but that, which but, is but, why we have this conversation now, so that up and coming gay actors can get bigger roles or, you know, or smaller roles you know in bigger pictures if, if and then grow their careers to if, be at that level as well. If, if and it's a, not just the if same. If I was an up and coming actor and, and this rule was in place, I'd say, I'm 18 years old, I want to get into film. Actually, I'm gay. Yeah, yeah, I'm gay. I, I, can, I can be in this role. I can act to that. That's what's going to happen. That what's is what wrong with happen. that? Because then <laughs> what I'm saying is I'm not gay. So I'd be saying, I'm, I'd be a heterosexual oh, man saying if. I'm gay so I can get more roles. That's I, what happened. That's not what's going to happen. Regardless, the point, the, point, what the, point is, the point is, is that you have people like The Rock who essentially, I don't think he's a good actor. The Rock plays The Rock and everything is in. Kevin Hart plays the same little black funny guy and everything is in. Ryan Reynolds plays the same sarcastic, handsome, funny guy and everything that is in. But they're getting cast in those roles because of their huge fan base. So. If, 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 you, if you take a script to a Hollywood studio and you say, this is a gay script, it's for two gay men in the romantic lead, they're going to say, cool, let's cast Ryan Reynolds and The Rock in this. And you'd say, no, 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 it's, it's got to be two gay actors. It would be it's awful be two, it's if be, it's they cast those two people in that It's got to be two gay actors. It's got to yeah, be two gay actors. It should be, so, yeah. And, and then who do, we, who, do, who do we get then? We, we get Luke Evans, an amazing, Luke Evans is a great high profile he's, actor. He, he, Luke Evans is a great actor and a good man, but he's nowhere near the level of those guys in terms of fame popularity. I mean, that's, that's very rude. No, but he's not. He's not. Look I mean, at the he box office. He played Gaston. <laughs> he played Gaston. He a did. straight role, by the way. Not yeah, not not a lead role, but a straight role. Yeah, he played Gaston, which is no. Which is, sorry, Gaston is a lead role. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's secondary. In Beauty and the Beast. Yes, Beauty and the Beast are the lead roles. I think, the, the I rest, think the Gaston's a pretty big role. You mentioned Eddie Redmayne before. Yeah. In The Danish Girl. So are we suggesting that we'd have to have a trans person playing that role? Because for me, it would be a case of the Danish Girl, as you know, starts as he is a man. 
and then transitions. So do we have him playing the role up until he transitions and then suddenly it's a trans person playing the role? Or do you, which, which would be then fair to the, the, the gimmick of it's got to be the person of the role. What, what would you suggest for that? See, I'm not an actor at the moment and I don't have, <laughs> the I don't have I'm not <laughs> entirely sure I can answer that properly because I'm also not a trans person. Uh -huh. But you could get two actors if it was too triggering for one trans person to It's not to... about It's not about getting two actors, it's about getting the famous people and the people that people are going to pay money Why? to see. Why because that's be how cinema works. Because that's how cinema works. No, it's not. This is not the Prince's Trust. This isn't a charity. This is so Hollywood. So why are some of the best films uh, made in the last few years that have won Best Picture at the Oscars featured actors that no one's heard of from directors that no one's heard of before? No, they haven't. Yes, they have. No, they haven't. They have. They haven't. They've picked you, you films. Know, they've picked you, you films just haven't that heard are different. Yeah, but which, who, who, from, but those from, from films are not. And, they're not actors starring The Rock, are they? Actors and directors who are massive in their home countries. Yeah. They're, they're not nobody. But they're, they're not The Rock, are they? And those movies weren't big in... And The Rock doesn't win an Oscar either. And I've said The, the Rock is not a good actor. <laughs> the Rock's not going to win an Oscar. Of course he's not. I, honestly, I'm really shocked. It upsets me that you don't believe in diversity. It's because I believe in diversity that I'm saying we should not... It sounds like you believe in cash. Well, I believe everyone believes in cash. Well, Come that's on. what you're saying. You're saying, oh, but cash. they want to make more money, so it's fine, do I what you want. I believe in diversity. But actually, diversity... I believe in diversity so much that I think we should diversify the roles. So how so, do you feel about The Little Mermaid? About a fish. How do you feel about a fish? I mean, I think it's incredible. I, 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 feel, I feel completely nothing about it. They've got a black girl playing Ariel. It's amazing. Cool. Actually, if you want to do it originally, originally, my grandmother's Danish. The Little Mermaid is a Danish tale. So it should be a Danish mermaid. <laughs> and, yet, and yet Sebastian the Crab is oh, Caribbean. Oh, God's sake. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's mental. I feel like... You, you've got a good point. I think it's amazing that straight people have played gay roles because that is kind of a form of allyship in the mm -hmm. sense that they are brave enough to be gay and have people call them a f in the street because they played a gay role. So that's allyship. That's what allyship is for. But allyship is also there to open the door so that a gay person can walk through that door. I'd say give it 100 years because 20 years, 25 years ago, Straight actors were told, don't play gay roles because you'll lose your female fan base who won't believe that you're a heartthrob and you'll lose the, the masculine guys who won't think you're an action hero. Now, st the same straight actors have been told, don't take gay roles because you're going to get backlash from the gay community. So all that's going to end up happening is we're going to see less gay stories being told. No, I think it's the nuance of that. I think if you're James Corden and you're acting really camp, to be a gay person, yeah, you're going to get a backlash from the gay community. If you're Jake Gyllenhaal playing uh, a, gay, a man that's afraid to come out because their experience is straight and they're nervous, you aren't going to get a backlash from that because that's a particular nuance that you can play. But if it's just a stereotype, it's a problem. Scarlett Johansson was cast as a, a trans character in uh, Rug, Rug and Tug, Hug and Tug, whatever, Rub and Tug it was called. Oh, you're such a movie critic. <laughs> yeah, she was, she was, yeah, it's cast as a trans, it was a true story, cast as Rub, uh, the, the main character, Rub and Tug, trans, trans woman. She got backlash, she pulled out the film and apologised. The film never got made because without these big Hollywood stars, unfortunately, these kind of tales are not going to get told. We can finally agree on one thing. Which James, is what? James Corden is trash, okay? <laughs> now, uh, let me know what you think. You might, might agree with me, you might agree with James, you might disagree with both of us, but leave your comments below. I want to see loads of comments. Last video, we had like over 200 comments. I want even more this time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with all of the Talk TV talent across YouTube. See you next time.